So what I tried to show you on the last example, but it kind of backfired on me because it was a really complicated function, is what the inverse function and the function itself looks like graphically. So I'm going to zoom in here on a function, and this is f. All right. So this is our function f. It's a cubic. It's probably x cubed plus 1. Now, if we find the inverse function properly and we go to graph it, it should be a mirror image across the diagonal. The diagonal is y equals x. So, you know, it's just a, it's a line with a slope of positive 1 that goes through the origin. So if I graph the f inverse, so this is f, the blue line. The red line is the diagonal or the identity function. And then the black line is the graph of the inverse. That's what it should look like every time. It's just that on example number four, I had like this crazy, um, a crazy shape function. But if, I mean, if you sat there and looked at it and graphed it by hand and turned it sideways, you would see that it does reflect across uh, the diagonal. So uh, for your homework, they are going to ask you to graph the function, algebraically calculate the inverse, and then graph the two. And it should be a mirror image reflected across the diagonal. Any questions on that? Okay.